The fleeting beauty of cherry blossoms is legendary. Over a million visitors crowd the tidal basin in a typical year, yearning for a brief stroll among clouds of delicate blossoms in a peak blooming period that typically lasts only a few days. The Library of Congress has a rich and varied collection of material related to cherry blossom viewing traditions, including vintage photographs, watercolor drawings, woodblock prints, and posters from Japan. Recent additions to the library's National Cherry Blossom Festival collection include posters from 1987 to the present and princess programs from 1949 to the present. A seemingly infinite stretch of lushly blooming cherry trees dominates the landscape in this pre-World War II poster from the Japan Travel Association. The illustrated cover of this 1950 booklet from the Washington Board of Trade uses some poetic and geographic license to create a composite image of Washington landmarks, including the Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, U.S. Capitol, Library of Congress, and Jefferson Memorial. The familiar arc of the Tidal Basin's pathway, shown in this vintage postcard, exemplifies the graceful beauty of the Hanami tradition. The year 1937 marked the 25th anniversary of Tokyo's gift of friendship. Sakiko Saito, daughter of Japanese ambassador Hiroshi Saito, was crowned Queen of the Cherry Blossoms by Melvin Hazen, Commissioner of the District of Columbia. The Queen is shown with her two attendants, her sister, Masako Saito, and Barbara Caldwell, their American playmate. Ambassador Saito observed that cherry blossoms were to be enjoyed best in clusters, each flower losing its individuality in the perfection of the whole. After his death in 1939, President Franklin Roosevelt arranged for a U.S. Navy cruiser to return Saito's ashes from Washington to Japan in gratitude for the ambassador's commitment to peace during the pre-war years. Taking photographs of family and friends surrounded by blossoms is a time-honored tradition during cherry blossom season. This image was captured by a U.S. government photographer in May 1941. The Thomas Jefferson Memorial was still under construction in 1941 when these sightseers cruised the tidal basin in a modest swan boat. Suspension of the Cherry Blossom Festival during World War II did not deter this crowd from swarming the tidal basin in March 1945. A number of the visitors shown here are in military dress, including the woman in the center front of the image, who wears a U.S. Marine Corps uniform. Former Library of Congress reference librarian Emily Howey joined other members of the Georgia Princess Court on their float in the 1971 National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade. Photo DC hosted its first photography contest in conjunction with the National Cherry Blossom Festival in 2011. In an open call, photographers were invited to submit photographs of the blossoms and festival in three categories, events, people, and landscapes. An Trong's winning photo of the festival parade shows sunlight glowing through floating lanterns near the Washington Monument. The Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial added a striking new dimension to the cherry blossom viewing experience when it opened on the Tidal Basin in 2011. This design development drawing by Christopher Grubbs shows a view of the memorial surrounded by cherry blossoms with text from King's I Have a Dream speech inscribed on the side. Designed by Thomas Burns, this 2016 poster shows cherry blossoms, butterflies and bees streaming past the Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, and Thomas Jefferson Memorial. Learn more about the fleeting beauty and enduring traditions of Hanami in Cherry Blossoms, Sakura Collections from the Library of Congress. Available in bookstores and libraries everywhere.